Guys, look. Look what I got. Look at this light. This is a, such a cool light. Look how tiny this thing is. Look. Look what it could do. So you see how there's one light coming from here and it's casting a shadow right here. So what I'm gonna do is use this light and fill my face in a yellow light for my yellow skin. Ah, so much better, right? We got these two babies in the house. We got the 33 millimeter F1.4 and the 35 millimeter F2. And we're going to do, we're going to do a comparison video of the two lenses. Um, Hey guys, it's me again. I am Tung and today I just want to do a little comparison video on these two lenses right here. These two bad boys, the XF 33mm f1.4 versus XF 35mm f2. This is not going to be a technical video. I am not a technical person. I'd rather share with you guys my experiences so I don't like any of those brick wall sharpness tests like some other creators do on this platform. But if you want to see something like that, I would recommend uh, checking out Christopher Frost's video. Uh, he did a very good job on a comparison video on the the, the XF35 F2 versus the XF35 F1.4 as well as the 33 millimeter F1.4, and he does all the sharpness all the sharpness tests and stuff like that. I'll leave his link in the description below if you want to check that out. I think he did a wonderful job on that video, and um, yeah, you get to see more of that sharpness thing uh, that he gets into. Personally, me, I like going out and testing this uh, out in the settings you guys would probably use these lens in. Um, I shoot portraits, I travel, so I take landscapes, cityscapes, anything that comes with documenting my travels. Best believe I'm snapping away. I made a shootout video a few weeks back at the Neon Demon Studio uh, between these two lenses that you can watch right here. Uh, if you guys want to watch that, you can see your you can see for yourself if the 35 millimeter f2 can hang with the 33 millimeter f1.4. And spoiler alert. It can hang, uh, but other than that, let's just let's just get right into it. Uh, starting off with the build quality. Uh, by now, if you're familiar with the Fujifilm XF lens lineup, you'll probably know that it's built quite well. We don't need to talk more about it. Both are weather resistant. Uh, like I always say, I prefer my lenses to be weather resistant than not just for that peace of mind. The 33mm f1.4 is a little thicker and fatter than the XF 35mm f2. Both have solid designs, both feel quite premium in the hands to hold where the 35 millimeter f2 has an advantage is its a size the size makes the 35 millimeter quite pocketable and makes for a smaller setup uh, an inconspicuous an inconspicuable 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 and can speak inconspicuous 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 it makes for an inconspicuous setup which is great for someone like a street photographer that goes out and travel and that doesn't want attention drawn to herself so that's where the 35 millimeter f2 does shine when it comes to the size although i feel that both do a great job at autofocusing i will have to give a slight edge to the new 33 millimeter f one four. While I was uh, using it throughout the neon shoot, I find that the 33 millimeter f one four tends to focus just a smidge faster, especially in low light situations where there's not much light. I find that after a while, the XF 35 millimeter f two uh, starts to hunt and would focus, uh, breathe in and out while looking for focus in low light situations. That's where I will give uh, the autofocusing to the newer 33 millimeter f one four. But overall, I do think both do a great job for photography i feel if you are a video shooter the 33 millimeter f14 would be the lens to get as it has the new lm linear motors which should make for a smooth operation when it comes to video work let's move on to the image quality so obviously if you want that bokeh and you want a narrow narrower depth of field you want to go with the new 33 millimeter f14 having that f14 has its benefits it's better for low light situations so whenever you're like in an environment where you don't have much light say like a wedding venue where not much light in the venue uh, i would prefer to have the 33 millimeter f14 by my side 
because of that extra stop of light. The 33 millimeter F1.4 is also sharper than the XF 35 millimeter F2. That is no surprise given, given the price tag. I think around $800, you would expect nothing but great overall detailed images from the 33 millimeter F1.4. But again, that's not to say that the cheaper, older, 35 millimeter f2 doesn't take great photos it takes amazing photos if you just go back and watch my shootout video with at neon demon you can see that this lens definitely holds its own when it comes to image quality against the 33 millimeter f1.4 and in some cases you can't tell it's only once you start pixel peeping you'll notice a difference uh, but if you were to view this on a computer screen or a phone screen you really can't tell and that is something worth noting if you have if you already have the f2 and you're thinking of upgrading to the 33 millimeter f1.4 if you have the 35 millimeter f2 i don't think the image quality alone is worth justifying to uh the 33 millimeter f1.4 just for a little bit of just for a, a sharper image. So let's go over reasons why you should upgrade to the 33 millimeter F1.4. One, if you're rich and you have the money, by all means, get the best of the best. And right now the best of the best when it comes to the 35 millimeter focal length is the 33 millimeter F1.4. Two, autofocusing. With the new X-H2 rumor to be announced next May, uh, Fujifilm has updated their new newer lens to be video friendly. Uh, they are using the new linear motor, which I find has a smoother autofocusing, which is pleasing for video creators. And three, uh, the F1.4. If you really want that shallow depth of field, or you find that in certain situations the F2 uh, doesn't give you that much light, by all means, upgrade to the F1.4. Uh, again, that extra stop of light does help when it comes to uh, your image quality uh, in low light situations. Reasons why you shouldn't upgrade. Number one is image quality. Although the 35 millimeter F1.4 uh, performs better when it comes to sharpness, image quality, I don't find that it's worth the upgrade if you already have the F2 lens. The 35 millimeter F2 still takes amazing photos and judging from the comments from my shootout video, uh, some of you guys can't see much of a difference to justify upgrading. And number two, uh, it's expensive coming at 800 US dollars versus 500 US dollars. It's a lot of money. I would rather use that difference and invest in other things such as memory cards, lighting, camera access accessories, etc. Et number three, uh, the supply chain. Um, it's quite hard finding these newer lenses now. Uh, some people are, have it, are having a hard time getting them in stock. So just be aware that if you do put in like your pre-order or something, it may take a very long time to get there. Uh, number four is the size. Uh, this can be a turnoff if you are used to the F2 uh, F2 lenses. Uh, the 33 millimeter F1.4 is really thick compared to the F2. Just know that it's gonna be real big uh, carrying this lens around. That is it for me, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below and if you have any other reasons why you shouldn't upgrade or reasons why you should. Do you guys own both of these lenses? Let me know your thoughts on which one you prefer better. Personally, I'm gonna say this, like I prefer this a lot better than this just because um, the autofocusing is a little bit faster and it's, I feel like it's more reliable for me and the images that I get out of this, it's just, it's just really, really good. And that's why I'm sticking to that. But again, when I shot with, when I shot with this lens, you guys really couldn't tell much of a difference. The, maybe to like the enthusiasts and you know, the hobbyists, you guys really can't tell the difference. Right, and that just makes me wonder, like, why even upgrade if, like, none of you guys can tell the difference? Surely, uh, the professionals can uh, tell the difference if you put them side by side. But we're all we're always consuming content through phone screens or laptops, right? When I shot with these two lenses, you guys couldn't tell the difference. So let me know your comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe; it helps out the channel. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram at I am Tongue. That's where you're going to see. Uh, more of my work. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, my name is Tung and I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Okay.